so I should probably say... Hey! Last time, on Bloodborne... Yep, there you go. Yeah. They just don't feel... Oh, are you... Uh, should we count that as a death against Martel Legarius? Yeah, alright, so we're, we're three deaths in. Oh. oh! Oh, no! What just happened? I just fell down! No! Stop! What? What? Bad. Poor me. Yeah, oh my god! No, when he's in this form, he just doesn't stagger, is the thing. All that... ...taken care of. Uh... Hello! We're playing some Bloodborne, and Vina Carver is gonna do some, um... Well, she's gonna do some dream murders, which is a new sort of murder, uh, which we'll find out what that means very shortly. Before, you know, any killing happens, we have... ...Fashionborn. Yeah, I think this is a decent look for for now. Hey, boom! <laughs> boom! Oh, that is worth all the grinding we did to get thirty strength. I love it when you've leveled up and you go back to something that you were having some struggles with earlier, and you just you just destroy them. Let's have a huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah. Jumping with a hammer Coming from above Gonna kill you What's your feelings on okay. Oh he was guarding Hammers man Cannons of the arms Whoa no See that's what Bloodborne's really Well the, Dark, the Soulsborne series in general Is very good at punishing you for You'll level up and you'll kill someone and you'll be like, oh yeah, this is brilliant. Uh, I'm so much stronger than I was. I can kill these guys easy. But you're never actually so strong that they can't still get you. So you start to get complacent. So it is a game that very much punishes complacency. Yeah, so chat, you remember a, a while back, it was about here, uh, that something, like, it seemed like something picked us up. Now there's this thing called insight. Uh, but insight also changes the game states. Okay, so but I've got loads of mad madman's knowledge. So if I if I use a bunch of madman's knowledge to uh, just get over forty insight, then I look. Oh, huh? is it fifty? Maybe. Maybe I need to. Uh, hmm. If I can get this to work, it's really cool. Let us have a let's let's have a quick look. Just just to see now. Is it? There it is! Yeah! You see that, chat? That's been there the whole time. We couldn't see it. We couldn't see it, chat, because we didn't have enough eyes. We didn't have enough insight. Look at it. It's horrible. This is the thing that picked me up and squeezed me to death. They're everywhere. Chat's so into this light. The only character ever to refer to them directly does refer to them as Lord. So, gender-wise, wife-wise, I mean, you make your own decisions there. Uh, I'm just saying I feel like it's not an uncomplicated wifing situation. You probably need to uh, do some thinking. Lord wife. Okay, lots of Lord wife. Yep, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'm glad that you all approve of Lord wife. Kill it for prizes! Yes! You know what? Hey, hey buddy. Hey buddy. BOOM! Ah, oh, not quite enough damage, still. Oh, my blood echoes. Lovely. Here we find either another Lord Wife, or the same Lord Wife at a different point in existence. And we are, we are going to offer ourselves up. We have a tonsil stone, which means rather than dying, rather than dying, oh,
We go somewhere new. Oh, Ali, darling, <laughs> have mercy on the poor bastard. <laughs> That is the voice of the guy um, who gave me the tonsil stone. Uh, we find out his name is Patches. And he is... Uh, well, we'll see. So where we are now, uh, this is uh, a university building. Um, and there's some jars. Oh, the jars! Are, they're full of eyes. Full of eyes. So we'll, we're going to later see Bergenworth University as it, as it is. This is the university as it exists in the nightmare. Here's Patches. <laughs> what a joy it is to behold the divine. I mean, he squeezed me like until it must I popped. Be such a pleasure. You're in my debt, you know. Hmm. Oh. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, don't. Please stop. Just don't. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. That is one of the uh, students or scholars that like it. He's a slime man that vomited on me, is what he is, uh, and I would describe it as rude. With this lecture theatre, oh, the lecture theatre key. This looks like a door. Open the door with the lecture theatre key. Oh, well, class is in session. I like I want to I want to spend more time dedicating to pastoral care, but it's hard when Yeah Orga of em of Ebriatus. There are actually, thinking about it, a few uh magical items that I didn't I haven't actually shown off. The old hunter bone means that when you dodge, you can dodge through people, which is it's quite handy, it's nice, it's fun. The executioner's glove. Uh, you remember what? You remember what uh, Martha Lagarius did, just firing screaming faces at us. We can now fire them at other people. And the auger of Ebriatus. It's that thing. It's that thing that um, Fake Yosefka did to us, which we didn't like. Uh, and now, and now monsters can also not like. What do you mean, look what I've become? All these things you hated, and now you're like, yeah, now I've got this, now I've got you. Oh my god! Faces. Now I've got tentacle ooze. If only my gradual descent into the very things I was hunting was part of the overall metaphor! Oh no, okay. So, uh, so chat, we are currently in a place called the Nightmare Frontier. Uh, so a sinister bell is ringing, and you know what that means? That means some legitimate other players uh, can turn up and attack us. That's an actual other. That's an actual other Bloodborne player. This is a human. This is a human that I'm fighting right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, Cannon. I do love you. The sinister bell ringing woman. Uh, I can find her. I need to find her and kill her realistically before other players, other horrible humans arrive. Because if there's one thing I hate, it's other human beings. Oh, and these things. I also hate these things. Because, uh, oh, they're full of snakes, apparently. Oh, and there's some additional hunters. Oh, nope. Ah, oh, back up, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this guy's got the got the, the threaded cane, which is a little, it's a shitty little whip, and I do not respect him for it. Everyone who's played Bloodborne more than me is screaming at me for going the wrong direction to hunt the bell ringing woman. Sometimes you just don't know where an old lady with a sinister bell is. That's. There are some things down there which I do not want to engage with right now. I don't like those things. Oh, and they live in poison, which is bad for me. I've used up all my ammo, so I can't even hit him with a cannon, which I would love to do. I'd love to shoot this thing with a cannon. Yeah, 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 squirmy nonsense. I'm lost, chat. I am lost. Okay, we're out of we're out of the poison. There you are. The bell ring woman has left. And the sound of the sinister bell has ceased. 
Well, that's good news for me. Oh, prizes. Don't run from me. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Those are some giants throwing boulders at me. Ow. Oh. Oh dear. More giants. And if you, what are you? Oh, you're, you're prizes that can defend themselves. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, dear. And now it's gone. Oh. Sometimes, chat. Like, this This is... You see what your wife did, chat? Your wife denied us prizes. Oh. Fire wife. I love, I love the nightmare areas, though, because they're... they're they just stop making sense in quite pleasing ways. Like, you have graves that are just sort of growing almost organically out of the walls, like this. Like, that, it may look like... Yeah, it's, and they're so obviously still gravestones, but they're just growing out of things. Yeah, you know that guy, Patches, we were talking to earlier? He's going to push me off this cliff like a prick. Here he goes. Uh, but Johnny, those weren't human arms. No, they weren't. Yeah, Patches is a spider. A uh, spider with a human face, uh, in case you were wondering, hey, uh, how come that thing that we saw the human face... Yeah, it's a spider with a human face. Like, I don't... Like, keep up, chat. It's not hard to... It's not... It's not difficult to follow. Ooh, prizes. And honestly, so few characters in Bloodborne are legitimately having a good time, it's hard not to root for someone who's having fun. I'm getting severely poisoned. Oh shoot, okay, it's one of you. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, so... So that's a Winter Lantern. Let's put the cannon away for a little bit. No, I miss it, I missed it. Oh yes, you, prizes! No, stop hitting me! I want to kill you for a prize! Yes! So, okay. Okay. Well, that was quite embarrassing. There is lots of high... There's lots of high... There's not a lot of safety rails in Yarnum, and even fewer in the Nightmare Frontier. So there it is. Bulging. That light uh, does frenzy damage, makes my blood excited and try to pop out of me. You can see it's covered with eyes, uh, but if you get a chance to look closer, you will also notice uh, that its its body is the body of the doll from The Hunter's Dream, and its weird head is actually made of those little goblins from the birdbath, all just all cuddling each other. Oh, those things are weird. One of my favourite monster designs in any game. Anyway, the oh, I'm being poisoned. That's not ideal. Stop it. Stop it, the ground. Oh, there's an interesting tower here. Bit weird here. Sure hope it's not some sort of boss arena. Spoiler, it's a boss arena. And not just any boss. Oh, look who it is! Amygdala. It's our buddy Amygdala! Oh, and he he has he has a horrible laser. His eyes bulge out like a oh goodness, like one of them uh, nets with squishy stuff in when you squeeze it. It's real unpleasant. Just do do the do the bulge thing. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, laser me. Oh, there it is. Ah, you see them eyes bulging. It's horrible. Oh. But you know what we can do? Fire a cannon at him! <laughs> That'll learn ya. Oof. Oh yeah, now's the bit where he pulls off two of his arms and uses them as clubs to extend his range. Ah, the space! The space! I'm trying his face, but it's hard because... Yeah! Gods! They don't like it when you hit them in the face with a hammer! And that is a pro tip. So that is the Nightmare Frontier. It's a nice little side quest. You're alright there, little guys. 
The Nightmare Frontier didn't take quite as long as I'd anticipated, so we're probably going to push on to Bergenworth. I'm going to take a moment to look through, because we've been getting quite a few like runes and that sort of thing, and we haven't been looking at them. The Healing Church has its roots in Bergenworth, and naturally borrows heavily from its uniform design. Thing is, I'm fine with the buttons when I'm fighting a big beastie, but as soon as I'm trying to navigate a menu... Oh. The discovery of blood made their dreams of evolution a reality. Metamorphosis, and the excesses and deviation that followed were only the beginning. Clearly the blood, they were trying to use the blood to force their own evolution. The great ones that inhabit the nightmare are sympathetic in spirit, and often answer when called upon. Now, you might say, well, what was sympathetic about them? They breathed fire and tried to eat me, and some of them threw rocks at my face. But you'd be wrong, because the thing you got to remember is that wasn't my nightmare. That was me entering a nightmare that already existed. Oh, okay. Not quite. Really hoping the cannon would be enough. Because, I don't know, conceptually killing a pig with a cannon. It just, it feels right. A lot of pigs in this game. Two pigs in as many minutes. Which, I'll be honest, it's more pigs than I uh, remembered. But I appreciate both of them. <laughs> it's not quite strong. Oh, oh, goodness. Not quite strong enough to kill most of them. Oh, okay. You know what that was? Uh, that was me getting cocky. But you know what? I feel like I've probably killed that snake already. Let's do it again, though. Often, a lot of the rest of the uh, life of the institution... Oh, goodness. It That's a lot of snakes to be... No, stop. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow, that was... Ooh, Ooh those are some big tombstones. I mean, I, I guess they're probably not actually tombstones. They're probably just, like... Well, they're kind of tombstones. So. Let's do this. Shadow of Yarnum. It's a three-person boss! Ah, oh, they're all... Yeah, I, I don't know. It's been a while since I've done this one, and... From what I remember, it's not technically one of the hardest, but it is one of the more annoying. Well, one of them is very flamey. One of them's swordy, and the other one is flamey with a candle. This one that I'm trying to kill is Sasha's least favourite, which I feel... Ought... Oh, yep! They are snakes! They are snakes, chat! Oh! Yep, that one's got a long... Re it's... He's got a long... They've both got... Because they're snakes, and... What? Oh, okay, I'm stuck behind some graves. Yeah, I was stuck behind some graves, chat. Um... I feel like I've gone a different direction, and I am not entirely sure where I am now. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, here we go. Stop that. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. I might do something that I don't do a lot in Bloodborne, and think tactically, and equip the Charred Hunter's Garb, because that will help protect me from some of them flames. AKA Singed Dracula Cape. Obviously I am Dracula, I cannot be killed by simple flames, but my new cape, oh, badly scorched. Okay. I- Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, I think I had forgotten that they have mega moves when they're almost out, and I think, yeah, I'm down, I'm down. Close. Oh, no, it's you, though, head. I can't, I don't know, they're, they're doing their, you know, they, they were doing their stretch nonsense. They were doing their stretch nonsense. But we could, we could try killing a different one first. <laughs> oh, I love cannon. <laughs> so this guy's throwing out a l more fireballs, but the fireballs don't seem to be hitting any harder than they were the first time. So I think, yeah. I think we. M you can do it. You can do it. Well, oh, okay. Mm. 
Yeah, I think I can because without his buddies, he takes. He's easy to stagger when he's trying to fireball. No, you were you you were 100% right. I was going after the wrong one first. This rune resonates with the servants of the queen, carrier of the child of blood, who yearn for their queen's blood with little hope of requitement. I do want to show you because we have come through the shadow of Yarnum, and we are reached. Yeah, we've reached Bergenworth. This used to be one of them Bergenworth scholars that uh, we were talking about. It's a nasty, horrible fly thing. Oh, great bit of monster design though. Like, look at look at the wings on that horrible bulbous head. That moon's pretty big. It's a pretty big moon, chap. I've also got enough quicksilver cat bullets that if I wanted, I could fire my cannon again. I might, I might do it just for fun. Hey, buddy. <laughs> It's not even the damage, because the damage isn't that severe, it's just the way it sends them flying that is incredibly pleasing. No, he's trying to- no, he's gonna- oh, he's gonna suck out my eye! No, oh, no, don't do it! He's- there he is! There he goes! God! Oh. What a prick. It's life saying, hey Johnny, don't you think you've streamed enough for one day? Don't you think you can rest? So I'm gonna go back to the Hunter's Dream and I'm, 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 I'm gonna rest. Uh, next time we will be going into Bergenworth to see what we can find there. And as always, may the good blood guide your way.